<laughs> All right, so here we are inside the very just entering the tunnel entrance to Inner Space Cavern. And what we see up here on this wall is our first speleothem. So you could see calcite forming this drapery or this kind of uh, flowstone. It, it has multiple names. We'll call this one a drapery because it kind of looks like drapes hanging from a room. You see the water is charging across, running across the surface, and that's precipitating calcite incrementally growing a little more each year. This is actually a very welcome sign because uh, this being 2014, the fourth year of the drought that started in 2011, these formations had been uh, getting quite dry and inactive. So it's good to see this one growing again by this abundant flow of water across it. Now one thing to notice here is that this is speleothem right here. And just right here, look at this. What do you make of this stuff? And let's get a little, even a little more light on it. Thank you. Look at this horizontal strata. All right, so we're back looking at the host rock of the cave again. And so the question I want to pose to you is what's the difference in age between the speleothem and between the strata that the speleothem is growing over? In relative terms? Yeah, so first we'll start relative. Yeah. Speely things will be younger, right? Very good. Now, let's talk about it in terms of absolute terms. Yeah. On the order of 100 million years. Okay, on the order of 100 million years between deposition here and deposition there. Right in geology, that long time between deposition, we call that an unconformity. That's a pretty significant one if it's about 100 million years. But that, that infers something that we know the age of the speleothem. Maybe that speleothem has been growing for tens of millions of years. How can we constrain its age? I can tell you we don't have any uh, uranium series measurements on it, but we have a pretty good feel for how old or young it is. With a, like a drip count? Well, so you could count the drips, and then you could maybe infer, based on how fast the drips are delivering dissolved calcite minerals, how fast it might grow. But it turns out to be a lot of assumptions associated with that. And when we think we have that and we try to do it in a more controlled situation, it actually doesn't always hold up. So that one's hard to do. How long has this entrance been here? That's <laughs> All right, so that's uh, more getting to the point. How long has this entrance been here? So the cave was, we'll, we'll talk about when the, how the cave was discovered, but it was discovered in 1963, and within a couple of years, they had begun uh, this process of tunneling this entrance. So this is not a natural entrance, right? This has been a blasted entrance. Explosives were used to open this up just to make it easier access. You'll see how the cave was discovered. The access was not quite so easy, and the people who owned the property wanted to develop this into a commercial enterprise to have tourists come through, just like that tour group we, we saw. So in any case, we know about 1965 is the earliest this could have started growing. So it's truly about 100 million years uh, difference between deposition and of the Cretaceous limestone and the very modern speleothem. All right, <coughs> onward.